Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I have a couple different strawberry shortcake journals to show you. One of these is for a custom order, but the other one will be up in my Etsy shop. Uh, as of now, I'm not sure which one because I want to see which one um, the gal wants. Either They're pretty similar, so I don't think it would matter, but I'm going to ask her first, and then the other one will be listed. So, um, here is the one that has the green background of this front page and then I have this one that has a blue background and the shape is a little bit different. So those are vintage pieces of a pillowcase that I had found and then I layered up with some polka dot fabric and then the strawberry fabric. This is a piece of ribbon back there. This is a little piece of a straw, it's a strawberry from a piece of other strawberry fabric that I have. And then I have this cute little sequin strawberry. The spine is three inches, it has four signatures, and I used the same polka dot fabric on the spine. On the back, I used this really pretty ruffle trim and strawberry fabric there. The tie is this polka dot ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the green one and we'll, I'll just kind of explain things as I go through this one and then on the other one I'll just do it, I'll fast forward it, kind of just do it to music because it is pretty similar. I tried to use the same scrapbook papers throughout but the vintage papers will be different and of course I stitched it so it just has, you know, the differences when I hand make things so so anyway I'll show you this really fun tassel on each one and it has a variety of ribbons and laces and trims yarns and then I put another one of the cute little puffy strawberries there with the sequins pink one on the front and then the red one on the tassel the tie is attached inside both the front and back covers. When you open it up here, there is a library pocket in the front that I made with some scrapbook paper and then I added some strawberry shortcake ribbon or fabric pieces. And then the front cover is covered in this really fun strawberry paper and then some rickrack and then here is some more strawberry fabric. And then the library card, I just did a little embellishing at the top with some paper um, in a little cut apart from the paper collection. The paper collection, well, the cut aparts are from a paper collection from Joann's and it was, a, I think it was called Strawberry Fields. This paper is from Joann's as well and it is one of their papers that you can buy separately. And then I believe that this gingham is also from Joann's. So anyway, I made a strawberry shortcake die cut for my Cricut machine. I did some, I drew in some little strawberries on there, added another puffy strawberry at the top. So each book will have one of those. And then I also have several different strawberry stickers that are throughout. I stitched all the way through this on this page is some fun pom-pom trim. On the next page is a pocket with some vintage strawberry, a vintage strawberry image sewn onto it. There is a bingo card here, really fun one that has pink and green and yellow on it. I just thought it went really well with this. This is a vintage strawberry uh, recipe that came from a newspaper. Here's some fun wax paper that has strawberries on it. A vintage typewriter page that I just thought the colors went really well with it. I made some paper. This is a grid paper. It's kind of hard to see, but what I did was I used the sugar-free Kool-Aid packets and added it to water and then did some dyeing on it. And it just did a really neat effect on the paper. I love it. I sewed some rib fabric on the side here and then I altered a paper clip here that's holding another cut apart and then I also 
stamped this so very sweet at the bottom. On the other side, I attached a strawberry die cut that I made with my Cricut. Here's a strawberry napkin that's really cute. This is a vintage strawberry book page. This one is, I, it's an envelope that I made into a little pocket and I added some ephemera in there. And then on the front, I just decorated it with a tag that was from that Strawberry Fields paper collection, added some a little strawberry sticker there, and then I made it a little side tuck. So I added these little vintage canning jar labels there. That just sticks in the side, and then it added some ribbon at the top. Here is a Strawberry Shortcake book page. And that's the center of that signature. And here's the other side of the envelope I did. I stamped some strawberries there. And then this is an envelope that has the windows in it. So I just added some of the strawberry shortcake or the strawberry paper inside there to peek through the pocket or the window. So that goes in there. And I just added a strawberry shortcake image. This was from a calendar that I cut apart. It's the other side of that napkin. Here's a little sticker. It says, I love you very much. And then I sewed some trim on there. This is a white ruffle or lace trim with hearts on it. And this side, I sewed this cut apart onto the paper. It says, so very sweet. And then I made these little pockets, they're a tag pocket, in my previous video. So if you want to see that, I'll put the link down below. But there are some ephemera pieces in there that I made. It's just a really cute little easy one sheet tag pocket. I did do a tutorial on that, so that's in that pocket. On this side, there's another little corner pocket. And I did a simple embellishment of a note card there. Over here, I made a large strawberry with my Cricut. I sewed some pink lace on the side there. There is a belly band on this page that I just added this little strawberry sticker and then there is a, note, a little notepad page there. Here is some green ledger paper with some Rick rack, another strawberry sticker. Each one of these will have a strawberry can label. They are um, vintage strawberry can labels. And then on the other side, I made a little belly band with some scrap here. And one of the strawberry coins that is from a vintage strawberry shortcake game. And then I added some pink Monopoly money in there. This is a book page, a vintage strawberry shortcake book page, a really cute one. I added some strawberry uh, washi tape to this one. There is the washi tape that I have that has the strawberries on it is actually scented like strawberries. So if you receive this, you might have a little bit of a strawberry scent that smells really good actually. I have some fun strawberry lunch sacks that I found from Amazon, I believe, and I'll put the links down below to everything in here that I bought on Amazon, the stickers I bought, and then these bags and the strawberry napkins. Here's another note card. I just added a scrap of paper and then some strawberry ribbon on the side there. Here's some more Kool-Aid dyed paper with the Rick Rack. On this side, I used a piece of this strawberry fabric I added another little cut apart of, it's not a cut apart, but a piece of the strawberry shortcake fabric that I cut out and I sewed that onto it. I added some polka dot fabric down below with some rick rack and this is just a little flip up there. Here is the strawberry shortcake coloring book page, a piece, and then the other side of that strawberry shortcake book page. On this page, 
This is just a vintage strawberry image with a sticker and then I use some vintage strawberry fabric along the side to just do a little ruffle. And then on this side I added a cut apart from the paper collection and this, this is just a little um, square of polka dot paper. On this side of the lunch sack I added a pup cake card. This is from the vintage strawberry shortcake board game. The other side of that strawberry shortcake page. And then this is the other side of that strawberry can label. And I just added a stamp of the so very sweet there. Here is another belly band with a piece of the strawberry shortcake board game there. That is blueberry muffin, I believe. And then I stuck in another strawberry notebook page or memo pad page. And then here's another large strawberry die cut that I made on my Cricut. And then here is just a little, a pink while you were out page and another notebook page there or memo page. And here there is a belly band on this page with some pink paper that says thank you very much and a pocket up here that has some more note, note paper there. This is another strawberry shortcake page but it is a like a recipe book really cute so that is like half half the page you'll see the other side on, on later part of the signature and then here's some more washi tape it says it's going to be a very amazing year and you are very special and this also has a strawberry scent to it and I had this really pretty pink notebook paper that I included there this is some old stationery that has strawberries on it and roses the other side of one of the strawberry shortcake book pages. Here's another page with a little embellishment. I just used some scrap of that paper, added a cut apart there. And then this is some ruffled. Um, after I made this ruffle on the side of this page, this was left over, so I attached it there. More washi tape on this page. I added a popcorn bag because I love the red and white stripe and then this is just a cut apart out of one of the book pages of strawberry shortcake and then here is a cut apart from the collect that strawberry fields paper collection this that paper collection I love and you can't find it anywhere it was an older um, paper pad from a couple years ago this was also in that paper pad. Another coloring book page. And then on the other side of the popcorn bag, here is a vintage Betty Crocker recipe card for, star for strawberry shortcakes. <laughs> the other, there is one of these in the other one, but it's just another strawberry dessert. It's not the strawberry shortcake. On this page, I stamped some strawberries and then added this really fun heart trim on the side. This is the other side of that stationery. I just added a scrap of red lace that I had. Here's the other side of that recipe book. It's showing how to make cupcakes with strawberries. Really cute. And then here's the other side of that one page with the double pocket. On this side, there is a little, I used the cut apart as a side tuck, and then I just added a little washi tape and some strawberry fabric down below. This is a CD envelope, and I just included some extra ephemera in here. There is a Huckleberry Finn playing card. I love you very much. This is a cut apart. These little red labels, little vintage strawberry image, another little polka dot paper, and then this is just a red and white uh, transparency or like a 
what do you call them? The slides? <laughs> I almost forgot what you call those. But you can use those and like embellish them, embellish them up a little bit and just make like a little embellishment. So that goes there. Here's another little side tuck I used to make I made with little scraps and I sewed them together. I included an extra napkin that you can pull out of there and use for whatever you want. Here's another vintage strawberry shortcake book page. More wax paper. There's a heart doily in there. And another one of the strawberry shortcake um, recipe pages. Another lemon meringue and huckleberry pie playing card with an embellished. I just made a little paper clip with one of those strawberries. Another sticker, another notepad page there. Here is some red and white heart lace trim. More, another sticker there and the other side of that page. Here is an envelope and there's just another little strawberry image inside there. Tucks in that little pocket. And this is a piece of fabric, that the strawberry shortcake fabric that I cut out. Another book page tucked inside there. This is some really cute paper. It has like pears and strawberries on it. That was from Joann's as well. This page is a side tuck pocket as well. And then more washi tape at the bottom. And then I sewed a, pe a piece of a book page. This is a vintage strawberry shortcake coloring pages, coloring page. The other coloring pages that were in here were not vintage, but this one actually is. And I'm kind of savoring that book because it's they're hard to find, and so I just include one in each when I make my journals, and it's almost gone because a lot of the pages in that book when I found it had already been scribbled in. So yeah, that's why that one's just one of those in here, but I think it's really cute. And then here is the back cover. I just made a pocket with the polka dot paper, added an extra little sewn ruffle there and a strawberry fabric piece. And then just made a little tag with this Kool-Aid dyed note card. Stitched on a little cut apart and added a coin from the vintage strawberry shortcake game and added ribbon on the top so that sticks in there. And that is it on the back. So um, I'm going to go ahead and move into the other book, but I'm just going to put it to fat, to music and just speed it up a little bit more. You'll see that it's pretty much the same. It has slightly different book pages, but that's about it. It's the same size, same amount of signatures, all the same papers. And yeah, so Let's go ahead and get into that book.
right guys, I hope you enjoyed the flip through of these strawberry shortcake junk journals. Maybe they'll give you some inspiration for a journal that you're working on right now or would like to in the future. If you want to check these journals out or the one journal I'll have available in my Etsy shop, I'll put the link down for it below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.